Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at using live captions inside of Chrome. Captions are a powerful tool for all learners. They can help beginning readers to connect the spoken word with the written word. They can help language learners who are still learning the language. They can help when you are in a noisy or distracting environment, and they can simply help you catch things you may have missed otherwise. I personally use captions for everything I watch, and they have helped me tremendously. Thankfully, most audio and video now has captions as an option. YouTube has auto-generated captions. Google Slides has live captions when presenting. Google Meet has a caption option any user can turn on. But what if you come across something that doesn't provide captions? Well, Google Chrome has you covered with built-in live captions. Let's take a look at how this works. So let's say you come across something online that doesn't have its own option for captions. It could be an audio file, such as a podcast or other audio recording. It could be a video on a platform that doesn't offer captions or simply a video someone sent to you. For example, we will use an episode from one of my favorite podcasts, 99% Invisible. I can play this podcast episode in my Chrome browser, but it's just audio. There are no captions available for it. Thankfully, Chrome can help us with this. Whenever anything with audio is playing inside of Chrome, you'll get a special media icon that looks like a little note up in the top right corner of your Chrome browser window to control your music, videos, and more. Simply give a click on this media button. In the drop-down window, you'll now see a toggle button for live caption. Turn this on to enable live captions in Chrome. This will open a floating window that will display real-time live captions for whatever audio is coming through Chrome. If the live caption option does not show up for you, you may need to go into your Chrome settings to enable it. For example, on my Chromebook, the live caption option does not appear when I click on the media icon. Instead, here's how to turn on live captions in the settings. First, open the system menu in the bottom right hand corner and then click on the settings gear to access the Chromebook settings. On the settings page, click on the accessibility section. Then click on the option for audio and captions. You will now see an option for live caption that you can toggle on or off as needed. Now that we have the live captions turned on, let's explore how to use it. You can click and drag the live captions window to move it anywhere that you want. You can change the size of the live caption window by clicking on the arrow at the bottom. This will switch you between a small window and a large window where you can see more of the text at one time. You can even switch to a different tab or a different window or even minimize Chrome entirely and the live captions window will stay on top and viewable. This allows you to continue to access the captions no matter what you're working on. If you need to quickly get back to the original tab with the audio, you can click on the Back to Tab button in the top right corner of the live captions floating window and that'll take you back to where the audio is playing. Now when you're done with the captions, you can close the captions window or you can toggle off live captions entirely in the media button. Anytime you need, you can simply toggle the captions back on or off. You can also make changes to the appearance of the live captions, such as text color, font style, text size, background color, and more. Here's how you do that. In Chrome, click on the three dots button up in the top right hand corner, then choose Settings from the drop down menu. This will open your Settings tab. On the left hand side, click on the Accessibility section, and then finally, click on the Captions Preferences option. 
This will open the caption settings for your specific computer. Now, depending on the type of computer you're using, your caption settings may vary, but they'll likely include options to change the caption color, style, size, and so forth. So for example, I'm on a Windows computer, so this is what my setting looks like. Uh, let's say I change my caption font color to yellow, and I change the size to 200%. Now, once I do that, when I go back to the tab that's playing the audio, and if I turn on my live captions again, we'll now see that change. We have the yellow text for the captions in a 200% font size. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, you'll get to these settings a little bit differently. First, head down to the bottom right-hand corner to open up the system menu, and then click the gear icon to access the Chromebook settings. From here, you can click on the accessibility section, and then choose the option for audio and captions. And here, you'll find the same settings to adjust your captions. And that's it. Captions can be a powerful tool to help all learners, and Chrome makes it super easy to add live captions to any audio or video. Be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.